hi welcome to this video in today's video i'm going to look at a very interesting sums i have two double sums okay the first sum is very straightforward sum okay as m goes from zero to plus infinity and n it goes from zero to plus infinity we have one over three to the n plus n the first sum is very straightforward sum but the second sum is very sneaky sum okay so pause this video if you would like to give it a hand to this problem and when you worry keep watching to see how to solve this problem okay let's get started now i'm going to start with the first sum it's as you see here it's very clear sum so this one as m goes from zero to plus infinity i can write this term on this form over 3 to the m multiplied by 1 over 3 to the n okay what I did here, I just brought 1 over 3 to the n outside of the sum because it's depending on n, okay? So the other one is depending on m, okay? So as m goes from 0 to plus infinity. So as you, as you see here, as you see here, the both sums are written on the form of the geometry series. So I can calculate 1. So that's enough to evaluate just one sum, okay? So the sum of 1 over 3 to the n, as n goes from 0 to plus infinity, I can distribute this one, so I can distribute this one, become 1 over, become 1 plus 1 over 3, plus 1 over 3 to the n, plus 1 over 3 to the 3, and so on, and all the way down, okay? In the same time, this one is equal to 1, the first term is 1, so the first term is 1 over 1 minus 1 over 3, okay? So, which is which is 1 minus 1 over 3, which is 2 over 3. I'm, go I'm going to take the reciprocal of 2 over 3, which is 3 over 2. 3 over 2, okay? <coughs> so, now, this sums equal 3 over 2 is multiplied by 3 over 2 which is 9 over 4 okay now this sum is now this sum is evaluated let's move on to the next sum okay so in this second second sum i'm going to evaluate this second sum so the confusion in this sum when you have m it goes from 0 to n okay so we have n goes as n goes from 0 to plus infinity the second sum is m, it goes from 0 to n. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to make the combination between these sums by changing the order of these sums, okay? So I'm going to take this sum outside and then bring this one inside, okay? So this one equal to, I'm going to take this one outside. When I'm taking this one outside, I'm going to change the order in the same time, okay? So this one, it will goes from M, goes from zero, M goes from zero to plus infinity, okay? But here M goes from zero to N. Now, when I'm switching the order, M goes from zero to plus infinity, okay? The first sum, I'm going to bring this one inside, so N goes from M to plus infinity. This is the difference, okay? So one over three to the M plus on this form 1 over 3 to the m is multiplied by 1 over 3 to the n okay now i'm going to explain to you why i'm putting this one on this form okay because we have if you take a look at here since we have m goes from 0 to n n goes from 0 to plus infinity okay so that's mean m that's mean m goes from 0 to n right as you have here so m goes from 0 to n and it is inferior equal to n we put the infinity so the infinity is bigger than everything so so the plus infinity is bigger than n okay so if you take a look when i'm changing this order okay so m goes from 0 to plus infinity which is correct m goes from 0 to plus infinity n goes from m to plus infinity 
So n is between m and infinity. This is n tier chance is true, okay? So why I'm putting both sums towards infinity? Because to calculate this sum as a geometry series, we have to determine uh, we have to determine n equals from zero to plus infinity. We cannot find the number of this one by using the geometry series without putting the plus infinity, okay? Because this one is considered as a limit. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring the one over three to the n outside of this sum because, because this sum is depending on n, not m, okay? So I'm going to calculate them separately. So I will have this sum. So this sum as m goes from zero to plus infinity, okay? So we will have one over three to the m. The second one, I will have as n goes from m to plus infinity, okay? One over three to the n, okay? Both sums towards infinity because now it will it will be simple. So this sum one over three to the n as n goes from m to the plus infinity equal one over three to the one over three to the m because the the first term is m plus one over three to the m plus one plus one over three to the m plus two and all the way down okay i'm going to take one over three to the m outside as a multiplier so one over three to the m factor one plus one over three plus one over three to the two one plus one over three to the three and so on and all the way down okay so this one one over three to the m as you see here, this this one is written on the form of geometry series, which is one, the first term one, multiplied by one over one minus one over three, okay? So if you calculate this one, it's giving you one minus one over three, which is uh, which is two over three. I'm going to, to, I'm going to take the reciprocal of uh, two over three, which is three over, over two, okay? Three over two multiplied by this one. So I will have this sum now. I will have this one, one over three to the m. Multiply, say we will have m. It goes as m goes from zero zero to plus infinity. So now I will have one over three m multiplied by three over two. Okay. The value that I found here, I'm going to replace it here in this sum, okay? Now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to calculate now this one. So I will have this sum. Now, this sum, I'm going to take 3 over 2 outside of this sum because it's constant. So I will have 3 over 2 is multiplied by 1 over 3 to the m multiplied by 1 over 3 to the m, which is 1 over... 9 to the m as m goes from 0 to, to plus infinity okay so this one equal to 3 over 2 this one what is this this is geometry series as well so i will have 1 over 9 this one is written the first term which is 1 because if you plug number 0 into the m it is giving you 1 multiplied by 1 over 1 minus 1 minus 1 over 9 okay so this one if you calculate this one it gives you 1 minus 1 over 9 which is a 9 minus 1 which is 8 over 9 I'm going to take the reciprocal of 8 over 9 which is 9 over 8 so i will have 3 over 2 it's multiplied by 9 over 8 okay which is 20 which is 27 over 16 now the sum of this one as n goes from 0 to plus infinity equal 27 over 16 okay 
So I have done with this problem. Thank you for watching. I will see you in next video. Bye.